There are many reasons for coating FDM parts. These include UV protection, sealing, shielding, or surface modification. But painting FDM parts for an aesthetically pleasing finish is the most common. Painting brings a product to life by adding depth, contrast, and character. This is true for concept models, marketing samples, and finished goods. For product development and many production applications, paint completes the desired look and feel. The following instructions are for creating top quality painted parts. For applications that do not require this level of finishing, skip any unneeded steps. First, remove any support structures. If the part had soluble supports, rinse thoroughly in tap water to clean the part and remove any remaining waterworks detergent. Then, allow the part to dry. Next, prepare the surfaces. Lightly sand with 220 grit sandpaper, then remove any dust or debris. For an ABS or ASA part, you can either dip it in a methylene chloride solution such as IPS Weld On 4, or vapor smooth it in a finishing touch smoothing station. For details, see the best practice, solvent smoothing. Solvent smoothing is an optional step that can reduce the amount of sanding time for ABS or ASA parts. Now, fill the voids between extrusion path layers with a filler. A light coating of fast drying primer will fill small voids and reveal minor imperfections. Although it adds time, you may find that this makes the task of filling and sanding easier by drawing attention to the areas that need work. Ensure the primer has completely dried before continuing the preparation process. Spread the filler to cover depressions. Avoid applying overly thick coats. Allow the filler to dry following the manufacturer's recommendations. Once dry, inspect the part and add additional filler as needed. Next, sand all surfaces with 220 grit sandpaper until they are visibly smooth. Then, sand all surfaces with 320 to 400 grit sandpaper. This is a good level of smoothness for most finish types. Be careful not to alter the part geometry when sanding. If the FDM material starts to show, stop sanding in that area. Remove dust and debris and clean the part with a degreaser to remove additional oil, dirt, and dust. While the part dries, ensure that the selected paints and primers are compatible and choose an application method that best fits your needs. Spray paints are easy to use and do not require additional equipment. With a good quality enamel paint and a well-ventilated space, anyone can paint FDM parts. Thin coats and steady sweeps across the part at a proper distance will provide a nice appearance. For a professional paint job, a spray gun and a paint booth are needed. In the hands of an experienced painter, the spray gun's precise control combined with a good quality enamel paint will produce exceptional results. When the surface has been sanded to your satisfaction, spray a light coat of primer on the part. Avoid heavy coats as they will drip and puddle. Allow primer to dry, typically for two to four hours, following the manufacturer's instructions. Then apply a second coat of primer and allow it to dry. When the primer is dry, sand the primed surfaces. If the finished part requires a matte or textured finish, sand the part with 320 or 400 grit wet dry sandpaper until smooth. If the finished part requires a gloss finish, begin with 320 or 400 grit wet dry sandpaper and progress to finer grits, concluding with 600 to 800 grit wet dry sandpaper. Surfaces intended to be glossy should have a polished appearance when complete. If the FDM material starts to show, repeat the priming process. Remove dust and debris and clean the part with degreaser. Allow the part to dry completely. When the part is dry, it's time to paint. Adjust the spray gun's pressure and flow rates to lay down a thin, even coat of paint, or prepare and test the spray can. Apply a light coat of paint to prevent dripping or puddling. Allow the paint to dry, typically for 15 to 45 minutes following manufacturer's recommendations. Next, apply a second coat of paint and allow it to dry. Repeat as necessary. If using multiple colors on a model, it is important to use the same brand for all paint colors. Some paints may react negatively if used with other brands. Allow the paint to dry completely following the manufacturer's recommendations. Finally, apply a clear coat to protect the painted finish. As with painting, apply two thin coats, allowing the first coat to dry before applying the second. For more post-processing documents and videos, visit us.